<sighs> Man, I'm feeling lethargic today. Make a swig of this haterade. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Today we're talking about energy. Hit the theme. Ain't nothing but a cam thing, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. Lancaster is a district that pays me. Unbreakable, so please don't try to break it. Yes. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Shu Fu coming at ya. I'm your host, Fu, and with me as always is Shu. Shu know it. So we've wrapped up the part on matter. Now we're moving on to energy. Yup. Let's get started. Energy, a lesson from the matter and energy unit. Light bulb. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Well, what's work? Work is a force applied over a given distance. Well, what's a force? A force is a push or a pull motion. So if we put everything all together, energy is the ability to apply a push or pull motion over a given distance. What are the different types of energy? First, there's kinetic energy. This is the energy of objects in motion. It depends on the mass and velocity of the object. So our equation is kinetic energy, Ke, equals one half times the mass times velocity squared. Potential energy is stored energy. Energy of position and composition has the potential to be converted into kinetic energy. In the picture, the cyclist going up the hill is using kinetic energy to get there. At the top of the hill, the cyclist has potential energy. That potential energy is then converted into kinetic energy and the energy is released as the cyclist goes down the hill. What is the relationship between kinetic energy and potential energy? The relationship is indirect. As one value increases, the other value decreases. Looking at the balloon in the picture, when it's filled with air, it has potential energy. As the air is released, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and the balloon moves away. We're gonna check out the falling rhinoceros. Right now, the rhinoceros is at the top of a tall skyscraper with a very high potential energy. Get ready, he's gonna jump. As he jumps, his high potential energy is going down as kinetic energy is going up. One of the things you notice is he starts to turn red. That's from the friction with the air as he falls. Oh man, he just hit the ground at a maximum kinetic energy. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, he's okay guys, everything's all good. What are the different forms of energy? Kinetic energy can be broken down into separate subcategories. The first of which is thermal energy, is the vibration of atoms and molecules. This is also known as heat. Electrical energy is due to the flow of charge. Now we'll talk about flow of electrons and ions a little bit later. Sound energy is due to the compression or expansion of air. So as that air mass moves, it both compresses and expands. Like the bass from your car. Mechanical is the motion of large objects. Radiant, electromagnetic radiation. This is also known as light, but it's not just visible light. It includes ultraviolet, infrared, and x-rays. This also travels through empty space. There are also different subcategories of potential energy. We have chemical potential energy. This is related to the position of atoms and molecules in terms of bonds and intermolecular attractions. Now, in chemistry, 99.999, how many six picks? Percent of the potential energy we talk about is gonna be chemical. We do, however, have nuclear potential energy, which is related to the position of particles in the nucleus. Get it? Nucleus, nuclear? And finally, we have gravitational potential energy. That's energy stored based on height from the Earth's pull. We've indirectly talked about gravitational potential energy when we use the example of the cyclist and the falling rhino. But this is generally something you do a lot more with in physics. What is the law of conservation of energy? Sounds a lot like the conservation of matter. All forms of energy can be converted into other forms of energy. 
Energy is not created nor destroyed in a physical or chemical process. Even when energy seems lost for a system, it's just being transferred somewhere else, usually as thermal energy. Now, typically in a system, if you seem to lose energy, it's normally due to friction. So you get that loss as thermal or heat energy. Now we're gonna apply the law of conservation of energy by showing how energy can be converted into different types. Take a look at this circuit here. We have a battery where potential chemical energy is stored, and then it gets converted into kinetic electrical as charge runs through the wire. It then goes to the light bulb where energy is converted into kinetic light or radiant energy. Also, some energy is lost as heat or thermal energy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna look at an animation here that's gonna show some energy transformations. If you look at our key to the right, we've got forms of energy that include mechanical, electrical, thermal, light, and chemical. Now they're all represented by different color capital E's. So we're gonna see how those transformations work here. So we're gonna heat this kettle that's full of water with some thermal energy in the form of a flame. As you can see from the red E's, we have some thermal energy right below the kettle. Now that energy is being used to transfer to the water to heat the water up. Now that water eventually turns to steam and that steam comes out the spout of the kettle. Now, as you can see, the E's that are coming out of the spout are both red and white. So there is some thermal energy being lost here, but there's also some mechanical energy. Now that's the motion of this mass of steam that's coming out. So the motion of that mass of steam, which is mechanical energy, is being used to turn the circle, which the circle also is mechanical energy, moving of large objects. Now that motion is attached to a generator, which is used to generate electricity. So you can see going through the black wire below that that is electrical energy going through that wire in the form of those blue E's. Now those blue E's make their way over to the light bulb which at first you see red E's. So that means that the light bulb is heating up. Now, when we turn a light bulb on, it seems to go on instantly. That's because that filament heats up really quickly. Um, but once it heats up, it then is allowed to give off some light energy. So you see some yellow E's, but you still also see some red E's in the form of thermal energy being lost by the light bulb. Okay, if we take a look at our biker here, you can see that she has green E's inside of her, chemical energy, that would be energy that has been stored from food. Now she begins pedaling, and that pedaling means that that chemical energy is being converted into mechanical energy. The turning wheel moves a pulley, which is also mechanical energy, but notice coming off of the wheel and the pulley, we see a little bit of red E's coming off that's because some energy is being converted into thermal energy in the form of friction. Now, as the wheel from the pulley continues to turn, that mechanical energy is being used to generate electricity. So we see blue E's moving through the wire again. This is electrical energy. Finally, we go again to the light bulb and we see at the light bulb that the electrical energy is being converted into both thermal and light energy. You try for energy conversions. Use the subcategories of kinetic and potential energy to state what type of energy transformation is occurring in the following two examples. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode on energy. It's been emotional. Today's episode is brought to you by... Brolo. For that time in your life when you wanna play lacrosse on top of a horse wearing an overpriced t-shirt. By Raphael Lawrence. But we never off, or we zone to the brick of dawn S-E-I-E-N-C-E -E -E, in the hall, they call S-Wing You know we never wear a tie Like my homies, boys, two men, it's so hard to say goodbye Like, like this, that, and this, and a It's like that, and like this, and like that, and a It's like this You're going in low power mode Plug and chill to the next episode